Hi everybody and welcome to another video of Vintage TV and Radio Stuff. Here is a uh, Sanyo Model M G7 uh, stereo cassette player from back in 1984. This uh, was Sanyo's answer to the Sony Walkman. Sanyo had a bunch of different styles of this type of, of uh, competition for the Walkman back in the uh, 80s. And as time went by, they got more and more advanced. As you can see, here's uh, some samples from a website which has a really good history of uh, the Sanyo brand and uh, what they did over the years. Anyway, let's take a look at this. This is a very, very simple object. Doesn't really do a whole lot except playback cassette tapes. So here's the front part where the cassette goes in. Over on the side here, you have the simple stop, eject, fast forward, and play buttons. There is no rewind, just fast forward. Here on the back is where you can find the model number and some other information about the unit, which was made in Taiwan back in the 80s from Sanyo. There's also uh, information about a DC power um, outlet that you can use for DC power. Otherwise, below that is the annoying battery compartment. This machine needs four AA batteries to uh, run and it has a little cartridge which you pull out here to put the batteries in. And I'll regret this but I'm going to take it out because it's really hard to get back in. But anyway, it takes four batteries. You have uh, two in the front here, two in the back, or two on top, two on the bottom. And here is where the batteries make contact with the inside of the uh, cassette player itself. You might notice that one of the uh, contacts was a little little dirty. Yeah, one of the batteries was leaky in there. I didn't do a whole lot of cleaning, but uh, I did scratch off some of the, the gook there, the battery gook. And uh, it, it's making contact now and is working okay. But I'm just going to try to get this back in here now. That's the hard part. And then we'll continue with our tour of this uh, Sanyo cassette recorder. Let's see if I can just pop it right in. Kind of doubt it. Plus you have to have this sucker out here, otherwise you can never get it out of there. Watch, it'll go, go in right in just like that, right? No. No, see it's got to fit in just just right. You can't tilt it on one end. There you go. Look at that, huh? So let's, <laughs> let's pop this lid on here. And move on with the rest of our tour. Where we see the top, which is the volume and the uh, headphone jack. You'll note there's a left and a right volume here. Yes, you can actually move these independently which is kind of interesting. So that's kind of cool. Okay, there's no speaker on this, obviously, so I'm going to take a uh, powered speaker that I have, attach uh, a uh, stereo cable to it, coming from the uh, headphone jack out to the input to the speaker, and we'll see if we can hear anything on this thing, see if it works. Alrighty, I have a uh, little powered speaker here. I'm going to turn the power on. I have a cassette in here. It's the uh, ever popular Harry Potter cassette that I've been using that I got free with a cassette player I bought a, about a year ago. I'll pop it in there. I did uh, have to adjust the battery compartment one more time <laughs> as it was upside down. Uh, but that's all set. Let's go ahead and hit play and see what happens here. She obviously makes more of an effort if you're not family. Why aren't you wearing yours, Ron? Well... George demanded. Come on, get it on. Okay, that's... Warm. I hate maroon, Ron moaned half-heartedly ah. as he pulled it over his head. Now it's louder. You... Yours, George observed. I suppose she thinks you don't forget well, that your Sounds name. pretty good. But we're not stupid. We know we're called and Red... It... And forge. Sounds to me like it's uh, playing story? slow or, or fast or what have you. The door, so that's that's a good sign. 
and it sort of ejects the tape for us. <laughs> Let me see if I can find a, uh, a quick uh, music tape and play a little bit of that and see if it sounds uh, like it's playing at the right speed or not. All right, I'm back. I've got uh, ooh, a copy of the original Led Zeppelin album, the first one that I got at an estate sale. And uh, I'll take uh, side two, good times, bad times. Won't play much of this because, uh, you know, YouTube doesn't like that when I do that. Or anyone does that for that matter. But let's pop this in and see what happens. Doesn't sound too good, does it? This tape might be just bad too, quite frankly. Let me check. Uh, well, no. you can see that or not. The pad looks pretty good, I guess. Let's try it again here, real quick. Hmm. Let's just flip it over to site one and see what we got. Probably not much of anything here. So it's almost out of Hmm. Now that might, might just be the bad cassette here. Well, it sounds pretty good. I mean, it sounds like it's playing at the right speed, or at least pretty close. Uh, might just need a cleaning, or this, this cassette might be bad, too. But anyway, there you go. Uh, this Sanyo uh, model MG7 seems to work pretty good. And uh, I did plug some headphones into it earlier, and it does play in stereo, obviously, too, which is cool. So there it is. It's the Sanyo model MG7. Stereo cassette player made back in 1984 by Sanyo. If you have any comments, leave them below. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and we'll have more vintage TV and radio stuff down the road. Thanks for watching.